Hello there, Sir from 17 once again, bringing you some Modern Warfare 2 demolition action. And this game is a, a good score, but it is not a good game. Be under no illusion, this is not good gameplay. And you're probably thinking, why the fuck would you want to upload something that's not good gameplay? Look at that! Anybody else would have killed that guy in those bursts that I just hit him with, but not me. <laughs> not on this game. Uh, but the reason why I'm uploading it is because it's full of everything that this game is. Or what this game became, should I say, because if anybody played Modern Warfare 2 when it first came out, it was still very different to, to Modern Warfare, uh, to the original Modern Warfare, but it was a lot more playable than before people learned how to exploit it. And a lot of people used to say that this was a game that benefited campers, and I really didn't understand what they meant by that, because uh, I never knew any other gameplay style of, of, of Call of Duty than to run around and try and kill people. And back when I used to play just for the sake of, you know, just playing, back when I wasn't actually all that good at the game. Uh, I used to do horrible on, on Modern Warfare 2, and I couldn't understand it, because I used to do so well on Call of Duty 4, and then I came to this, and I used to do so poorly. And I, I just kind of chalked it down to the fact that you die so quickly on this game, that if somebody sees you before you see them, you're probably dead, regardless of reflexes, regardless of skill, regardless of a lot of factors. And then... As I started playing it a little bit more and I came back to it after a, a long hiatus and I decided to slow my, my game style up when I play Modern Warfare 2, you do considerably better than you did before. And it's a testament to how this game rewards people for a lack of mobility. Because if you can sit behind a clipping spot that's got a decent line of sight and a decent place for traffic, you will do so well on this game as opposed to running around and just hoping that you'll see the guy before the guy sees you. And... I think that's the thing I hate the most about this game, because if you want to run around and rush, you either have to pack a shotgun, which if you have to, if you come across three people and, you know, you miss a shot, you, you're just going to die. And if you're on a bad connection and you, you don't, you know, have the, the 50 milliseconds of ping like everybody else does, they're just going to laugh at you and put you down in a burst. And I think it's that, that that ruined the game most for me, and that's not even talking about the fact that people learn how to exploit it. I mean, when they started doing the care package glitch and the javelin glitch, and then everybody got onto the whole one-man army noob tubes and danger close, and it just turned into a monster of a game. And and then you've got the tactical knife people that use commando that just run around ruining people's kill streaks. And I find it the most difficult Call of Duty to come back to after some time of not playing it and do well on. And I think it's because when I go back to Call of Duty 4, my main strategy on that game is run around and kill everybody because A, there's a good chance that I'm probably better than the people I'm facing purely because the people that are on it now are new and um, you'd be surprised at some people's reflexes. Call of Duty Black Ops is one of those games when I go and play it these days, I run around and try and kill people and sure it's a lot more connection based but I generally slow my play down if I'm on a bad connection or if there's a couple of people that are just beasting me because for whatever reason I can't kill them I'll generally just you know play more defensive I'll move from cover to cover I'll defend the bomb site I'll just adjust the way I play to, to win but when you come back to, to, to Modern Warfare 2 you never know how you're gonna play because you never know who you're up against you're either gonna be up against people that play the game like human beings or you're gonna be up against the people that play it like absolute dickbags and there's no real certainty to it. So you can have the most fun game of Modern Warfare you've ever played, and then in the next lobby, it could be nothing but tubes. And it's just absolutely crazy. And uh, I hate this map as well. I've not mentioned it. I really do not like Derail. I've never liked it. And uh, the main reason that, that I've never liked Derail is because I have a lot of trouble seeing people on this game. <clears throat> and I know that makes me sound old. <laughs> but it's true. On Call of Duty 4, I can spot an enemy at the other side of the map. I could see him at the corner of my eye, and I can get on target and I can kill him. On this game, I just don't see people, because there's, there's, there's volumetric lighting and there's, there's depth to the lighting, so that it, it becomes really difficult to see some stuff. And on this level, especially because there's mist, there's fog, and like a state, I can't see anybody on a state. I might as well just not play that map because I just can't see a damn thing. I do not see people running. I do not pick up on players. And uh, it's probably because I've not played the game enough to, to get used to it. But when I go back and I play that map, it's, it's a lot like Wasteland. I generally don't see anybody on Wasteland and that's why I don't like it. Because it just it feels like you can't see a damn thing. It's like you're looking at a fucking colouring book trying to find Wally. It's just... I don't like it. I really don't like it. 
and especially when they added all the measures of verticality on this game that makes it extra difficult because you never know what window you're going to get shot from and there's just a whole different measures it's a completely different way of playing and for some people it's awesome because they that's what they like about it they like the fact it plays completely different to all the other stuff but you ask those people they'll still probably bitch about the fact that there's a lot of bullshit in this game and for some reason this is a apparently a one burst kill on any part of the body at any range and I hit that guy then and got nothing and I end up actually taking this gun off because as you can see I'm getting nothing but hit markers and it started to really piss me off because you see Sandy Ravage nailing people from every fucking distance with this gun and they just drop like flies and I start using it and I get shit absolutely shit on but um yeah Modern Warfare 2 and don't misconstrue what I've said about being the hardest game to come back with and doing good on with the hardest game to do well on because this is one of those games that when you start playing this game if you play it correctly you will get a kill streak every game and you will lead the lobbies because all you have to do is slow your gameplay down play a lot more defensively use cover and uh, just take your time if you can play like that and you don't get impatient you will do terrific on this game because it rewards cowardly people and as soon as you get one kill streak, you've pretty much got all your kill streaks, and that is a cool thing because stackable kill streaks are cool. But on this game, it's a bad thing because there is far too much air support in the air at the same time. In fact, if you go back and you watch the the knock blocked video that I had, I, I mean, look at that. That guy's weapon has idle sway because he's added the fucking infrared scope, and he still has better shot on me than I did on him. And I had a red dot, and I wasn't even moving. Crazy. But as I was saying, if you if you go back and you watch the, the knock blocked, you'll notice there's a section of the game where I'm in sub base and I'm in the, the, the lower area of one of the office areas or whatever the hell they call it, and it's got the grid in it, the, the corrugated middle that you can sit behind and you can work on your FMJ kills. And um, when I'm in there on the video and I get my Harrier and then it, it shows you me gaining, I think, uh, an AC-130 on a ground war and I start absolutely multi-killing everybody and then it ends and I'm I'm about five or six kills away from the nuke. It's like, Jesus Christ, this is absolute bullshit. But on that game, if you notice, when I'm inside that room, there is two Harriers or something and a Pavlo up or something ridiculous like that or a Halo or a Pavlo and a Harrier up before I get my Harrier. And it just gets to the point where there's so much air support and everybody that plays the game is so selfish that nobody shoots it down. And that's probably why you've got to, to play with a lot of your friends. But... Infinity Ward obviously introduced the whole bullshit of you can't be in a party when you play the game, it forces you into public chat. And if you're or anything like me, I hate, absolutely hate public chat on these games. You will find the most uncivilized, unintelligent, least educated people you could ever come across outside of a fucking chemical weapon testing facility, test subject, refectory than ever because it's just nonsense the people that play these games are just the most uncultured most oh ridiculous people ever all you get is hatred racial remarks fucking all sorts of xenophobia it's just madness and I hate it and this game forces you to go into the chat with all these fucking mongoloids and I know there's a mute button because that's the first thing that I do but it shouldn't force you to be uncomfortable because all you want to do is play with your friends and that is one of the things that, that really bugs me most about Modern Warfare 2 but this is a nice segue because this is a kind of long video I, I was going to put up a, another one of my Modern Warfare 2 gameplays but the problem with this game is when you do well on it the matches don't last <laughs> so it doesn't give you a long time to commentate and I wanted to to do a, a bit of a what I dislike about the, the state of Modern Warfare 2 video here even though everybody's done it and everybody did it like two years ago uh, I wanted mine to be a little bit more open a little bit more you know objective because I'm not gonna say that it's a bad game because it isn't it's a bad community that plays it. it's a lot like Black Ops for that but I can segue nicely onto uh, what I'm looking forward to in Modern Warfare 3 because Everybody's saying the game looks identical, the graphics are identical, it's just going to be Modern Warfare 2.1. And I know as far as progression goes and as far as, you know, making innovations on gameplays, that is a bad thing. I'm not even going to contest that. It is a lazy, it is a bad thing, but it is a formula that works. And the concept of a better version of this game with different guns, different maps, you know, maybe different game types, they haven't announced anything yet. 
but that to me sounds like a fantastic idea because anybody that's on my friends list right now if you compare if you look on the leaderboards and you look at my gamer tag on this uh, my stats are horrific I've only played the game for a day and a half because I hate it with every passion of my body and I used to hate it more than I hate it now but um it's one of those where I've not even really touched the surface of this game because it just frustrated me so much when I played it originally. I can play it now because I don't care about my stats, but before, I used to be really invested in wanting to get good statistics and I just couldn't do it because everything was against me. And Modern Warfare 3 is taking out all the bullshit. It is making it an emphasis on gun-on-gun -gun action just like Black Ops. Only the difference being is the guns are going to get buffed, so it's not going to be a case of it five bullet kills anymore. And it sounds like Call of Duty 4, if you ask me. Because Call of Duty 4, for the most, is all about gun on gun skill and gun on gun encounters. Because the kill streaks, everybody had the same ones. They were very simple. And I mean, the airstrike is an airstrike. The chopper is good, but for the most, it's quite easy to take down and it does spend a lot of time dilly dallying around people that are in cover. And for the majority of the game, it was it was guns. So I think that's a fantastic idea, and that is why I'm really, really excited for it. Purely because I get to play Modern Warfare 2 the way I want to play it, as opposed to having to play like what you're seeing right now, where I'm not pushing any open areas, I'm staying around an area that I know, I'm staying around cover waiting for people like him, who are playing the game like I want to play it. And what am I doing? I'm popping out of cover and, and taking him down when he's trying to run about and have a good time. And that to me sounds like a fantastic idea and there's a lot of people that are hating on it. And It's really cool to hate on Call of Duty these days because of the lack of innovation. But at the end of the day, it sells because there are a lot of people that still enjoy it. And hopefully, it'll give Activision an incentive to mix up the game, to mix up what they're doing. And right there I went for the, the defuse or whatever the hell and I realised that He'd already done it, the guy that was laid down. So a bit of a fail on my part. But there definitely needs to be something put in the next Modern Warfare that, that, that takes away this this proclivity to, to want to sit and, and just camp. And uh, not that it's not a valid strategy and I don't mind it because when people are camping against me, I don't really have that much trouble unless it's a really, really good player. Like if I ever came in a game and, and I had somebody like, you know, Wings of Redemption sat behind a box at the other side of the map, then I could understand where it becomes a really, really bad thing. But if it's just an average person doing it, you're not in that much trouble. It's when it comes to somebody who knows what they're doing, when it, when it really shows how strong sitting and hiding can be, as opposed to, you know, the people that like to, to run around. And it's, it's kind of like, you know, the chicken and the egg argument of which came first, because it's a perpetual cycle of people prefer one way, people prefer another way, and everybody prefers their way better than the other one, but... Anyhow, not the, the best gameplay, like I say, but it was an interesting time to, to let me speak over some of it, so thanks for watching, guys, and do take care.